Your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Has the Empire retaliated? Not yet. This conference concerns the Republic's future. It may even decide it. The conference is being held on Tython at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also... Another matter we should talk of in person. They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. Whatever it is, they'll tell me when I get there. I'd hope not. But if such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor! This is so exciting! Ugh, and no time to recompile my hair! Ah, welcome. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. I take it you're seeking my services. Yes, but I also need your discretion. You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. This is no time for internal squabbling. We should be united against the Empire. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. I refuse to believe there's no solution to this. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously. This Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. What sort of problems would I be solving? Whatever the Rift Alliance needs, prove the Republic's worth to them. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your patience, your compassion and wisdom show that you merit the rank. Will you accept and become the Order's newest Jedi Master? How could I refuse such an honor? Neil, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy. Before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seer. 
I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. You know these people, sir. I would appreciate any suggestions you can offer. Get on Representative Alani's good side. But between us, I'm not certain she has one. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Do you have time for a chat with your fellow intellectuals? We've been trying to think of the absolute perfect entry for the Luminatus Club Symposium. Nothing we've come up with has quite the spectacular edge I'm looking for. Any ideas? You could try curing a disease, or creating tech to restore war-devastated planets. That sounds like a lot of hard work. Still, you're on the right track. I need an unprecedented creation, something no one else could possibly be making. Yes. Perfect! I'll build a Vandrake generator! It was theorized by Dr. Gorman Vandrake centuries ago, but never realized. As I recall, a Vandrake generator runs on a form of energy that doesn't exist. A minor setback. Besides, old Gorman Vandrake never knew about Exotech. And he didn't have me to help. A functioning Vandrake generator would prove a dozen theories, and cement my place in scientific history. Such a project! Sorry, Jedi, I really must get started. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone right here. I'm Nadia Grill. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eric's. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Oh, wonderful. My genius is about to be snuffed out thanks to some Imperial Grunt's ham-handed sabotage. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Why have you done this? These people are no threat to you. Hardly a challenge, either. But I know better than to question my orders. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Tell me where to find Lord Kairos. You don't need to be his slave. Slave? I do Lord Kairos' will. He grants me more freedom than any brainwashed Jedi. Hmm... My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die. It is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Nadia, don't you ever... What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. Is there any way to override the Sith commands or shut off the engines? The crew knew how, but the Sith... 
They're all gone. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blazus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! I if we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalya Srek Grula Woska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon, and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. <laughs> Even I can miss a planet. It's all right, Dune. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. in a safe orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need. Right. Every need may be a little strong. I'm here to secure your place in the Republic. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... Alipa I-I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello? And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've, uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? I'd love to hear all about your planet and culture when we have time. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. No simple task, even for a Jedi. True, but I've had years to plan. Technically, Balmora's not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmora's government has been in exile, myself included. And our droid factories are under Imperial control. But, if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic, and bring our droid armies with us. In that case, I will see what I can do. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. If Balmora's people are suffering under the Empire, we shouldn't waste time. 
Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. Balmora, home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... He was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. The Empire must know that you're next in line. You're lucky to be alive. Several Republic worlds protected me. I owe them everything. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. Restoring the government will be no easy matter. I have a plan. It's a little... unconventional. Ty! It's... it's... it's madness! You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything! That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks... He's something of a blunt instrument. How does Zenith fit into your plans? I need his knowledge and resources, but first, we have to find him. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two perspectives are aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. You'd be surprised how persuasive I can be. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long. I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private, and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. Zenith speaking, what do you want? I'm here on Ty Corden's behalf. Then what does he want? We share a goal. To free Balmora's people. Ty Corden is ready to rebuild the government. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. You appear to have a grudge against the Republic. They came to help, then abandoned us. Twice. Prove you're different. I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem. But he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me. Then we talk politics. I won't let you down. Don't take long. This mission is vital. <laughs> what a sourpuss. Not everyone has your gracious disposition, dear Holiday. We'd better do his little chore. First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. You know this isn't the life you should be leading. Don't try to confuse me. My path is clear. My family has always lived here, watching Republic interference hold Balmora back. But Darth Lacris can lead us to glory. The Empire has enslaved families across Balmora. Did Darth Lacris spare yours? They... Serving the Empire is a privilege. I am... proud they have the chance. 
You're young and strong. Defy Darth Lacris and help the people you love. Never mind this Jedi preaching. Ceres, kill her! No. I must... I need time to think on this. I will stand aside for you, Jedi. Find another way to help my people. You'll pay for that, Jedi! Your drivel just cost Darth Lacris an apprentice, and I'll be blamed! Whatever you came for, I'll never... What the... Jedi, are you alright? The bleeding is moderate, but you need treatment at once. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Hmm. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. You will not commit murder in front of me. This is war. He's the enemy. This man enslaves Balmorans, so he dies. No. He's a wounded captive and must be treated fairly. Jedi foolishness. Okay. I will send men to capture him. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. I hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile, and we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. But we both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. We must act now before the Empire realizes what's happening. Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone in return for donations of weapons and credits. Those weapons and funds would greatly improve our own position. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. What would be involved? Director Fenn is head of Troida, and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrick he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I'm sure I can make this Director Fenn see reason. The Empire watches everyone important. Fenn will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droid's memory. <laughs> Director Fenn, try to. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris's anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. I have nothing that would be of value to Balmora's corporations. You do. You just don't realize it. The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. The anguish of the scientist, burdened with petty, I mean, always vigilant against evil. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Such matters must be decided by the Jedi Council. But you speak for your counsel, don't you? Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. Thought he'd never leave. I have information for you. What have you learned? Seems Director Finn has a wife and daughter in Sobrick. My men know where to find them. Mention that, and Finn will agree to anything. I can handle this without threatening innocent people. Innocent? 
He's an Imperial collaborator. But it's your decision. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? How about instead we send just a few Jedi Overseers? It would please the Council and be good for your image. Yes. In fact, that could boost our sales considerably. Here. A small token of our goodwill. Now, when the Empire invaded, we hid stockpiles of arms, secret blueprints, credit accounts. They're now yours. And Ty's. I'm sure Ty will find a good use for them. This password will let you access terminals in Sobrook to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Sobrook. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just treat him gently. Thank you, Jedi. Defying Darth Lacris has been quite the adventure. Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Sobrick's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. <clears throat> I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work and bang, I'm working for her. Help me and I'll protect you from Darth Lacris. You can't stay here forever, Jedi. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. My training taught me to manage multiple thoughts. That could be useful to you. I don't know. I might accidentally start unraveling the complexities of the universe or something. Okay, I'll try it. Close your eyes and listen. See your thoughts as moving lights in the darkness. Wow. I feel... I think I could process two streams at once. Give me your data. There. Decrypted, sent, and Darth Lacris is none the wiser. I appreciate it, Jedi. Huh. Maybe now I can get drunk and work at the same time. If you're quite finished enlightening him, can we go? We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. Oh, and Master Seal Bakarn wanted to speak to you. Yes. I hear you negotiated with the corporations, allowing us to supervise their weapons research. An admirable effort. But I wonder if a few Jedi Overseers can restrain them. This way, the corporations are supervised, but we keep their goodwill. I see you've thought carefully on this. I trust your judgment. I have Core World's business to attend to. Go well. With the corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current president, Galtha, is ill. He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Galtha publicly signs over power to me, becoming president will be difficult. Do we know where Darth Lacris is holding President Galtha? She keeps him out of sight. There are rumors, nothing concrete yet. Trouble. And Foreman and Sobrick just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocence. Set a trap for a Jedi. Kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Maybe Darth Lacris doesn't know how many followers you have. Together we could catch her off guard. Good idea. We must make sure those people are safe first. We draw off the Imperials, you grab the civilians, right? Tell me where I need to go. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. 
Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. We got the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. Force fields are blocking the entrance. I must reach the civilians. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down, the facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. Down on your Jedi. I won't let Darth Lacris win. Placed all our concussion charges around the facility. Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out now. How can you risk all these people for this vendetta of yours? Life under Darth Lacris isn't worth living. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. He needs to know. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? We saved the people inside, but Zenith's last communication said he was being overwhelmed. I was afraid of this. I hope he's saved. Someone's coming. You should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. You have my sympathies. Almora will never forget those who died to free her. I swear. At least the civilians, real Balmorans, are safe. And we got information. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive? Or Darth Lacris' accomplice? I... don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. This knowledge could save Balmora. I hope so. We just want our lives back. Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. Someone who knows the area would be most welcome. You need to pinpoint the President's location first. I'll go ahead. Meet me at this position outside. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold, and Darth Lacris might be expecting you. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the president. I see no need for hesitation here. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. I never get between a man and his obsession. See you at the ship. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. More.
meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations, too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galtha. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even Thord he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. This movement is larger than a single person. We're hidden across Balmora. Thousands waiting in secret. Then I shall cull the citizens of Balmora. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. No, not yet. You don't understand. You've destroyed everything. You've... <sighs> Never been happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the President sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his citizens committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Ah, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars. All round. Blind. No, too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it. Can't be. Can't be. Go away. Feared this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though. Wouldn't last long, and it might kill him. But Ty will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. Deceit and torture. You're no better than Darth Lacris. How dare you? I bled for Balmora. If Balmorans see President Galtha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. Ty escaped Imperial assassination for years. Ty himself proves there's hope. If you're wrong, we lose everything. I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrik. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? 
His time as Darth Lacris's prisoner has left him little more than a shell. No, this can't be. He's... he's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Galthe is incapacitated. As senior official, Ty, you inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension into the office of president. I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. This will be a difficult time. Set an example for your people. Guide them well. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? You all stand on the threshold of a new beginning. For Balmora, and for the Republic that waits to embrace you. And I hope the Jedi Order will always be a part of that future. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. And there's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. It's the least you owe him. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. That's not what you said when you needed Zenith's followers to die for you. You become president. My men get unmarked graves. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hmm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. I'm sure your skills and experience will continue to serve us well. Sure, since Jedi attract fighting. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I and my planet will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? If someone was plotting against us, I would feel it. Maybe. But I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up. So it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, at a station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons, too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. I hoped I'd proven myself by helping Balmora. Unfortunately, their we've-been-neglected attitude is hard to shake off. Attis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. I will do everything in my power to help. Thank you, thank you. I just wish I knew more about the situation there. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But Father, Attis Station is built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. The faster I get in, the sooner I can protect the scientists there. See, Father? We stand the best chance of saving everyone if I help. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. 
Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesha's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. We've made some progress on the Vandrake generator. The initial equations have been... difficult, but with Holiday's help, I'm almost ready to progress. I've just hit a minor obstacle. I find myself needing your help, dear Jedi. What can I do to help? I find myself in need of inspiration. On Nar Shada, a particular spiced wine was a marvelous tonic. A friend has offered to send me a case, if I get him an audience with the Jedi Council. Why does he want to speak to the Council? He's searching for new trade routes, I believe. Now, I have a message for the Council ready for your signature. What do you say? Don't fall back into bad habits. If you wish, I can teach you a technique to improve your mental discipline. My bad habits and I have come far together without Jedi navel-gazing. Oh, I'll try it. On the condition that you arrange the audience if it's not a success. How interesting. I... Do excuse me, Jedi. I think I see where I've been going wrong. <laughs>